well 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 i haven't seen this thing in over a week and as you can see the corvette's not here it's also been gone for over a week i had dropped it off at mc whips before i left to florida and while i'm finally back from florida and i also got a call this morning that the corvette is also done and ready to get picked up but unfortunately we're not going to be taking the gt500 out just because i'm not in the mood to drive a loud car right now i much rather drive this super boring jeep and for those who haven't watched the dodge demon build that we recently did on the channel i highly recommend you guys going and watching them we took a dodge demon we twin turboed it all in five days threw it on the dyno made over a thousand wheel horsepower then took it down to florida we raced it then we took it on a thousand mile road trip and it was crazy it was insane we broke the car we fixed it we drag raced it we did so much with that car all in a few days literally it was the craziest week of my life down in florida and you guys gotta go and check it out so we made it to mc whips and i already see the Corvette right there. I am so excited to finally get the Corvette back. But before I show you guys the vet, let's see what's behind this door. Hey, Nicky boy. What, up, what do you got there? What you is know, that? Ron, he yells at me. He never has detail spray, so we're gonna give him this one. This is for me. Two. Two. Three. Oh boy, it's see, Christmas Demon already. Doing a wheelie? Demon doing a wheelie. What is this? Oh, an M3. This is a three series M Technic. Wow, I okay. I think that's how you pronounce it, M-Tech, what you say? Well, it says it, M-Tech, Nick. And look at this thing, it is so cool. So this car was the one that was red before, right? Wow, so it used to be red, and now it's white. And we also got this really, really nice RS6 in this beautiful Nardo Gray with these HREs, look at that. And then you got the tan interior, wow. This thing is cool, and Gentown over here doing all the chrome delete, and Nick is doing nothing per usual, man. What are you doing here? Just Not to, you know, put you out there, my brother, but... Just, just supervising you. But every time I see you, you're job. supervising. Good job. Man, everybody's working. I think they're all doing a great job, bro. Now, now you gotta go my back to work. My car's flying in the air. What do you want me to do, bro? <laughs> like, for real. Bro, Nick is, man, I love you, Nick. You know that, right? Too. So we got the keys to the Corvette, and it's time to start this thing. I actually miss driving this thing. Believe it or not, I like driving this thing way more than the GT500. All right, let's take this thing home. But before we do, it's probably a great idea to show you guys the wheels. Let's turn her off because she's way too obnoxious. All right, boys, here are the wheels. Look how good they look. Oh my God, let me show you guys the other side. Wow, 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 gloss black wheels. If you guys remember, the other color on the wheels was like a charcoal gray with a silver lip and they did not look good at all. And now the vet looks a hundred times better. Look at the rear. Wow, wow, check that job out, man. Big shout out to Motor City Whips. They're literally the best of the best, and there's a reason why I come here. They're just good at everything they do from wraps to PPF to painting to collision work. They literally do it all here, and they do it very, very well. Thing. And we have finally reunited the cars together, but I still got one more thing I forgot to mention here I also went ahead and got these gloss black lug nuts to match with the color of the wheels And we still got a lot more modifications coming for the Corvette and as far as the GT500 I still have no idea what I'm gonna do with this as of right now. It's gonna stay here I'm gonna keep it unless somebody wants to buy it from me the right offer will definitely take this thing I do love it a lot, but it's definitely time for a change So if I was to sell the GT500 let me know which car would you like me to replace it with I'm gonna keep the Corvette for right now but I'm definitely thinking about replacing this with something cooler so let me know in the comments below what other car would you like me to add to this garage and now we got a new package from 3w that we got to open up so basically one of my good friends Carlo recently bought a 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee and the dealer promised him these really cool floor mats as part of the deal and well they ended up ghosting him after he bought the car and they never gave him the floor mats so so me being a good friend, I decided to reach out to 3W to get him some new floor mats. So big shout out to 3W for getting me these floor mats. I'm gonna leave all their links in the description below. So now 
now let's open the box up. Alright, let's get these mats out. Oh, there they are. Oh man, there's a lot of mats here. So these look like they're for the rears. And then these look like they might be for the passenger side. These look like they're for the driver's side. And then this looks like it might be for the rear trunk area. And look at how nice these are. Very good quality. And then these pretty much snap onto the car. And yeah, I think he's gonna absolutely love them. Big shout out to 3W for sending these out to me. Well, actually, I'm gonna be surprising Carlo while he's at work with these mats. He has no idea I even bought these for him. All right, let's get this thing in there. And it literally just started snowing out of nowhere. Like, look at this. Michigan is so bipolar. It was literally just sunny, and now it's snowing. Hello. What up? What up, dog? What you doing, my boy? Nothing at work. All right, well, open the door. I got something for you. My boy! Man, I, I'm sorry to interrupt you at work. How you doing, my boy? Good, good. What's up? What's I got on? something for you in the back. What do you got? Late mad? Christmas present, my boy. Are these mad? Yes, sir! So you know how that no dealer way. scammed you and didn't get you the floor mats that you needed? Yeah, look at the weather. I know. Look at that. It's perfect timing, my boy. Take them out. No take them out. Way. Yes, sir. Take them out. Man, I told you, bro, I'm not gonna forget about your Christmas present, even though it's three months late. I mean, I appreciate it. You don't it. gotta lay it down. You don't gotta lay it down, bro. You're gonna get them dirty. Wow. Well, just take out one of them just so you can see what, you know, what they look like. <sighs> hey, these go. are sweet. Yeah, you like them? Yeah, I love them. I think this is for the driver's side. Let's put them in. Right. So this is Carlos Jeep. Oh, you gotta unlock it. It's just a white Grand Cherokee 2023. All right. Look so we're gonna take those ugly floor mats. Oh, you don't you don't need these boys. Oh. Ah, all right, put God. these bad boys in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. Hey, these are hard. Like them? Look at them. Hey, look, the cool thing is right here, look, you see that right there? You just snap them oh, in there. Snap on you snap this other side in there too. No, oh, hold up, there might be some dirt under it. Yep, there's a lot of dirt. He don't clean his car. All right, but boom, you snap them in, and just like that, they fit really, really good. Look at that. Can you come look at this fitment real quick? Let me let me try it out. Let me test it out. Go sit in there, my boy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, don't, don't fall. Don't fall. No, I'm not. Ooh! Damn. <laughs> they look so good. Look, they protect your entire oh, car. Oh, they even protect this, too. Yep, this area, too. And they fit perfectly, man. Big shout out to 3W. I'm going to leave their link in the description below. Y'all go check them out. And Thank what do you got to say to them, my boy? Thank you, 3W. Thank you for the mats. If you see the weather conditions right now, I really need them. And they also gave us a really big mat for the back. Look how big that is. <laughs> Look at their logo. I know. Their logo is sweet. So this goes back here in case you want to take, you know, bags of sand or whatever you really want to do. It'll protect it, and yeah, that's that's awesome, no, man. This is hard. Big shout out to 3W once again, man. All right, bro. Sorry to interrupt you I'll at work. You. I'm gonna thank let you go you. back doing what you gotta do. No, yeah, thank you for the mat, and I'm sure you'll email me and push it. Ha! You already know my boy. Ain't shit free in life, my boy. Nothing's free in life. And now we got the keys to the 2023 Camaro ZL1, and let's turn it on for y'all. sounds so good still stock exhaust this thing literally only has 6800 miles it's basically brand new and it's the last year they made it this is a 2023 let's open this thing up so as soon as you open it you see alcantara everywhere you got the red right here you got the red stitching you got the recaro seats says the l1 right there let's get in here <sighs> And then you got the full Alcantara steering wheel, more red right here, more Alcantara with the red stitching. Let's take it out for a drive. So this thing has a 10 speed automatic and it's basically one of the best transmissions out there. And we can't forget about the 6.2 liter supercharged V8 
with the LT4. This is a 1.7 liter supercharger making 650 horsepower. And this actual ZL1 was actually owned by one of my friends and it's a pretty cool spec. It's all white. You got the gunmetal gray wheels with the gunmetal gray brakes. You got carbon fiber right there, carbon fiber right there. And you also got the clear tail lights, which I absolutely love on this thing. But now it's time to take this thing on a drive and see what it got. And you can't forget safety first, especially when you got these really nice red seat belts. Oh, whoa, shit. I actually turned traction off with that one. Okay, we're definitely not gonna try that again. These tires are literally like hockey pucks. Oh my God, there's no way we're gonna get traction. So the ZL1 comes with Pilot Sport 4S's and basically if it's under 50 degrees, they turn into hockey pucks and almost impossible to get traction with them. At least we can hear the whine, even though the supercharger is super tiny, with the 1.7, you could barely hear the whine, but when it's spinning, you definitely hear it. Yep, you hear it a little bit. But the exhaust sounds really, really good. Oof, you hear a lot of popping with it. Sounds so good. It's probably not a good idea to take a 650 horsepower car in this weather, but it was still cool to try, you know. I thought maybe we could get traction. Probably not the smartest idea, but I tried. All right, it's time to give this thing back, but let me know if you guys could see me in a Camaro. I pretty much owned a bunch of different American cars from Corvettes to Mustangs to Hellcats, but I've never owned a Camaro. And I'm not even sure if that's something you guys would want me to build. I've done builds on many different cars, but not a Camaro. And it'd be cool to start off with a ZL1. You get 650 horsepower, maybe get rid of that supercharger and get a Magnuson, maybe do cam heads and a bunch of cool stuff. But let me know what you guys think what car do you guys want to see on this channel i try switching it up all the time and well maybe now it's time to switch it up to something we've never ever had a camaro a camaro zl1 a 2023 camaro zl1 the last year they made them let me know what you guys think talk to me in the comments below